There's a game-changing tool in Adobe InDesign that allows you to format and style text seamlessly. Follow along in this video and learn how to use AutoStyle, an AI-powered tool in Adobe InDesign that lets you select multiple frames in a layout and style them simultaneously using style packs. So let's jump right into this video and get started. All right, on my screen, I have a spread for a fictional automotive magazine. I want to set this up so there are two style groups that we can toggle between. Now for this, we're gonna need to open the paragraph styles window. To access that, go up to window, styles, and then choose paragraph styles. Now, like I mentioned, I have two style groups and you can see them here in the paragraph styles window. It's currently set to strong style. You can see that I have a strong style folder with a body copy white, main title, subheader, body copy black, and body text bullets. I'll collapse the classic style and it's the same naming convention, but it's a completely different style group. So if I click the header here, I can click main title. You can see it's a classic looking font. I can click the subheader and I'll click subheader in the classic style group and you get the idea. Now, if I want to change everything, I'll have to do it one at a time. So I'll have to define each frame and then change them individually. What auto style allows you to do is change all the frames simultaneously. So I'm gonna switch everything back to subheader in the strong style group. And I'm gonna show you how to set up the auto style. Auto style reads your text using AI to apply styles to multiple frames based on selections from a style pack. So first we'll have to create a style pack. In fact, we'll create two. Let's start with the strong style group first. Make sure that you aren't selected to any frames in the layout. With the first paragraph style selected, hold your shift key and click the last in the group. Then right click and choose copy to new style pack. Go ahead and rename the style pack. In this case, I'm gonna call it strong style dash final. And you can see down below, you can map out your paragraph styles based on your style groups. Have a look, heading, there's the main title that we've applied. Subheading is the subheader. Paragraph is body copy white. We don't have numbered lists, so those remain blank or basic paragraph but it does recognize the bulleted list, body text bullets. So ensure that those are all correct and once you have them set up the way you want, go ahead and click create. Now this is really cool. Even though that the style groups are still intact, we've gone ahead and created a custom style pack. We've created the first one, strong style final. Let's repeat the same process for the classic style. So click body copy white under the classic style group, hold shift, click body text bullets, right click, copy to new style pack. Same process here, only this will be called classic style dash final. Now, once again, ensure that you've mapped out your paragraph styles correctly. And once you have, go ahead and click create. Next, let's put auto style to the test. I'm going to close both paragraph style groups that I created initially, and let's focus our attention now on the style packs. First, I'm going to select all the text frames that I want to apply the style pack to. And to apply the strong style final style pack to the selection, click this play icon next to the style pack. InDesign's built-in AI will read the text based on the paragraph style and apply the style pack accordingly. Now there is one small problem and you'll notice on the second page of the spread, it's gone ahead and applied the white body text style. And obviously we want it to be black. The good news is you can duplicate a style within a style pack and modify it to the way you want. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's deselect everything on the page. Then under the strong style final style pack, right click the paragraph style and choose duplicate style. Now you won't be able to rename this. So let's just leave it as paragraph copy. That's just fine. We just need to change the color from white to black. So make your way down to character color and replace the white fill with black. And then click OK. Now we'll just need to select the text, the white text in this frame, and apply the new paragraph copy within the style pack. Let's do the same thing for the classic style pack. 
I'm just gonna scroll down and then right click the paragraph style within the classic style pack and choose duplicate style. Again, let's leave the name paragraph copy, but let's change the color by going to character color and replacing the fill from white to black and click okay. Now, if we go to our tools panel and click the selection tool, select all the frames that we have set the style packs to, and let's toggle between the classic style pack to the strong style pack. And we're doing this just by clicking the play icons and you can see how useful this is if you're working on large documents that you wanna style quickly and seamlessly. And just so you know, your style packs will carry over from document to document. All you have to do is go up to window, styles and style packs. And you'll notice if you go from the preset to custom, here are the custom style packs that we created. I'd say this is a pretty huge advancement for InDesign users. This AI powered tool not only gives you the ability to style multiple frames at once, but it also helps you work more efficiently overall. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to learn more about Adobe InDesign, then check out this playlist right up here. Until next time, take care and keep creating.